simplifying these uh, these problems. We're going to simplify these problems. Um, if you like, uh, you can pause the video and uh, be able to solve these problems and go ahead and do it by yourself for so when we're trying to solve simplify this we're trying to go ahead and try to combine like terms so when we are combining like terms we would have to go ahead and see if there's a variable that is the same as the next number to be able to go ahead and simplify. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and do seven X minus seven X minus seven X. So we're just doing seven minus seven, which is equal to zero. All right. And now we're gonna go ahead and do five Y plus negative 11 Y and that would give you what is 5 minus 11, which is negative 6. And then you just keep the terms together, so you just get negative 6y. So now we have negative 11a minus 16a. So negative 11 minus 16 is negative 27. So our answer would be negative. 27a. So now we're going to go ahead and do the next problem, which is negative 11xy minus 18xy. So since we do have like terms, we're going to go ahead and combine these and we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to go ahead and do negative 11 minus 18, which gives you negative 29xy. Since we do have Similar terms, we can go ahead and combine the negative 11 minus 18, which gives you negative 29, and then we keep our like terms, which is xy. So we have negative 29 xy. So now, uh, for the last problem, we have 2x minus 6x minus 2x. So, well, we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. Well, what we can what we can do here is we have two x minus two x. So if we just go ahead and do that, we have two x minus two x, which gives you zero because two minus two is zero. So we just have so these basically zero out. All right. So now we are just left with negative six x for our answer so that's basically the bell ringer for right now and uh we're going to go ahead and use kind of a similar process to be able to do this for uh solving linear systems of equations by using the process of elimination so we're going to go ahead and do that So first and foremost, we have steps that we have to use for doing by solving linear systems of equations by the process of elimination. So we have solving solving linear systems by by elimination. Okay, so these come with steps that we have to use to be able to go ahead and do this type of process. So the steps that we're going to have to use, so number one. So step number one, 
we would have to make sure that the variable make sure that all the variables on the and the equal sign are lined up so we have to make sure the variables and the equal sign are lined up Now, step number two, we have a second step where we have to decide which coefficients we would want to cancel out. So we have to decide which coefficients we want to cancel out. Now we have a third step where we have step number three. So step number three, we're going to have to add the two equations together and then solve for the solve the new new equation. So we add the two equations. Step number four. That fourth step, and that step is to take your answer to step three and substitute it into either one of your original equations. So you take your answer from step three. step three and we are going to have to substitute it for either of our equations for, for either And then the last uh, step that we're going to have to do is write your solution into a coordinate point. Last step, write your solution, solution in a coordinate point. So, uh, what do I mean when it talks about having to do a coordinate plane? Or well, a coordinate point, I'm sorry. Um, we can do this and put our, write our solution in coordinate point by having it x, y. So whatever we get for our x, go ahead and plug it in here. And then whatever we get for our y, we go ahead and plug it for y. So we are going to be able to use these steps to be able to go ahead and do a couple of um, problems. So right here, do a couple problems with these. So for the first one, we're going to go ahead and do For the first problem, we are going to go ahead and do 3x plus 5y is equal to negative 13. And then you have negative x minus 5y is equal to 21. 
So, how do we go about doing this? Well, it says, on the first step, we say it's variables and the equal signs are lined up. Well, are they already lined up? So, we can go ahead and check that first step off because we already have that. Because our variables and the equal signs are all lined up. So, we're good on that. So, now, we decide which coefficient we want to cancel out. Well, if we look at this problem, we can be able to go ahead and cancel out y first because you have plus 5y and then minus 5y. So I want to go ahead and cancel out um, y. So we can go ahead and just go ahead and solve for x. So what we're going to do here is like it says on here. So we decided what we, which coefficient we want to cancel out. Then we go to our third step. Now it says we have to add two equations and we solve for the new equation. All right. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to add a plus sign right here, and then we're going to go ahead and add. So what is 3x minus x? Well, that is simply 2x. What is 5y plus negative 5y? That just gives you 0, all right? So now those just zero out. These just zero out. Now we're going to go ahead and do negative 13 plus 21. So that go ahead and gives you eight. So now we can go ahead and solve for X because what would we do here to be able to, to get an X? So what we can do here is we can go ahead and divide two and then X would equal to four. All right, so x would equal to four. Now, so what we can do is we can go ahead and go to step number four. So it says take your answer from step number three and substitute for either, can't spell, either equations. So we can go ahead. What I want to do is make it simple all my life. So what I want to do is go ahead and plug in four for that second equation. All right, so we're going to go ahead and for right here. So then we're gonna go ahead and get negative four minus five y is equal to 21. So now we have, we have to go ahead and solve for y. So what, what next step will we do here? Well, to get y by itself, we can go ahead and add the four to the other side. So you have negative 5y is equal to 25. Now, what we have next is we can go ahead and solve for y because we, because we can go ahead and divide negative 5 by both sides. So then y will be equal to negative 5. So now our answer in a coordinate, now it says write your solution in a coordinate point. So what we do here is we go ahead and put four and negative five, and this would be our answer. So now, what we now since we found our answer, we're good, we're we're fine because it's in a coordinate point now. So now. Let's go ahead and do um, one problem that would be a little bit more trickier to do. Well, not trickier, but it has a little more of a twist. So, now. Let's go ahead and do Go ahead and do negative three x, negative three x, negative five y is equal to negative five. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and add another one. Add second linear system. So now we have. Let's go ahead and try negative nine x minus fifteen y. 
and this will be equal to negative 15. All right, so let's go ahead and do this step by step. All right, so first step, it says variables and the, and the equal signs are all lined up. Well, they're all lined up here and all lined up here. So we should be good, all right? So now, let's go ahead and decide which coefficient we want to cancel out. Well, let's go ahead and see which coefficient we want to cancel out. Let's do, let's start with, let's do X, all right? Let's cancel out X, all right? You can also do Y, but it's really up to you uh, how you really want to tackle this, all right? So now, let's go ahead and cancel this out. So to cancel out, um, to cancel out the X uh, and the first, equation on top, what we can do to cancel this out is we can go ahead and multiply the top bar by negative three. So now, now we can go ahead and do this by doing, we multiply everything by negative three. So then you have nine X plus 15 Y is equal to 15 and then negative nine X minus 15 y is equal to negative 15. all right so now what we can do here is it says go to the so we're going to go to our next step it says add two equations and we solve for the new equation so let's go ahead and add both of these equations together uh, put a plus sign up front now do you notice anything what would I do, what would happen if I tried uh, adding both of these equations together? Think about it for a minute, go ahead and pause the video and see what you think would happen if I go ahead and add these uh, linear systems together. Well, what happened was, what would happen would be, for here you have nine plus negative nine X, that would give you zero, and then plus 15, 15y plus negative 15y, well, that would give you zero. So what would 15 plus negative 15 give you? Well, that would give you zero. So we would just get zero is equal to zero. So since we have zero equals zero, this is very interesting because we will have infinite many solutions. So our answer for this would be infinite many solutions. Why? Because if we plug in any number for X and Y, we will be able to get, we will be able to get what it equals to. So that is basically going to do it for solving for linear systems by elimination. I hope you enjoyed the video.